periodically through this video you'll probably see me with glasses and without and I'm sorry but my eyesight sucks. Welcome back Fuller family. I know it's been a bit so you guys are just going to get videos when you get videos. That's just how it's going to be for a little while. Today I'm going to be showing you guys basically my A to Z process of wood burning. I have six steps basically and they're very big so I'm sorry. It's just how my brain works and so I'm gonna say it out loud so if you guys actually want to know the whole process of wood burning A to X, Y, and Z then keep watching this video. Number one, the idea. I know I could have made these cards a lot better but I don't have time for that. I want to do a clock because I haven't done clocks in like a year. Because of the fact that I want to do a clock, a couple years ago I did a clock that was just an outline of the state of West Virginia, Mountain Mama Take Me Home. I have done a paperweight before that was the outline of Virginia, but with a mandala on the inside, like so. Focus. Now I thought, wouldn't it be really cool, because I live in the state of Virginia, to have a Virginia clock that's not just an outline. That's where the idea came from. Basically it just goes the idea. You have to come up with something in your brain and once you sort it out and stuff, this one is a very simple one. Now, my other one's not so simple, but I'm just going with the simplest one right now for this video. Put it on paper, put it on your iPad, put it on a napkin, put it on your hand. Oh God wash your hands. From that idea, you have to go straight into step number two, which is the design. This is a simple design. An outline of Virginia. It's a clock face, so I potentially want to have numbers on it. I've done some without numbers. I don't really like them because I'm not very good at telling time. I do almost all of the stuff with my woodworking. I put it onto my iPad and go from there, and then I get some help from my mom, and we both put our brains together because we're both super artistic and just go ham. We go onto Adobe Illustrator and then put it all together so then it's all neat, it's all perfectly placed, everything's even because trust me I know when something's not even and then we just sit it up through Adobe, print it out. Because it's a clock and this clock face is approximately 10 inches in diameter, is that right? It means that I have to print it out on two pieces of paper. And printing it out on two pieces of paper means that when you cut it out, you gotta overlay it, and that's when you will see this obvious method. I could not have done it any more perfect. Just line it up right there. Now, since we got the design all together, once you get done step number two, you are finally going into step number trace. Wood stuff. You have to make sure that A, you have the perfect piece of wood. This is not the perfect piece of wood. This is what you get at Michael's when there's only two left because everyone wants to start a new hobby. Thank you, Corona. But this is not a perfect piece of wood, but I will work with it because this side is almost perfect. The only reason why this is not a perfect piece of wood is because of that little turd smear right there. Because of the fact that there's two sides to this, I'm choosing this side, I don't care about this little thing. Adding on to a perfect piece of wood is the whole sanding process. I wanna make sure it's all clean. For the grit, I like to use the finest. Focus on something other than me. 320 grit. I like it because it gets a nice close touch for any women that are watching. You know the feeling when you shave your legs right after and you have the lotion on, it's just really smooth? That's how you want your wood to feel. That sounded really bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Moving on, since the wood is clean, we are now going into step number four. Transfer and burn. She is set. She is ready to rumble. Painter's tape is your friend. Basically make sure that your design stays in place because trust me, it moves. I know it's gonna stay there. The only stable and sticky thing in my life. Matte side down, shiny side up. Could be more precise, but you're living on the edge. Let's get started. Best thing to look at is this, is that you got a rough trace of your design onto your piece of wood. You're gonna clean it up as you go because that's what you do with your life, right? We're going to the second part, number four, the burning process. Turn your dial up to 11 and get ready to get saucy. So I did the numbers first. Always basically outside in, that's what you wanna do. 
let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the wood burning process. I don't think it should take me very long. And again, this is a simple design. on to step number five which could potentially be your final step which is stain. Do you guys ever look at words and you don't remember how they're supposed to be spelled so you just think they look funny? My staining process because I'm still working on it like I need to figure out a new way to stain my pieces so then I don't waste so much of my time. I use indoor outdoor stain always because I don't know if someone wants to have this outside if it rains then the piece won't get damaged. So I always do two coats at least to seal it, one coat on the last little tidbit to make it all shiny and pretty because who doesn't want shiny stuff? And this is completely optional if you guys are just doing this for fun like how I started or you could be doing it how I'm doing it now. You could make that money with step number six. I always like to take really good pictures of my stuff and I always post it on currently right now my Facebook page. Take a picture of it. You can use your phone or you can use this. It's a camera. It's a Sony. I don't know what version it is. I currently only post on my Facebook page because my website is in progress. Six steps to my wood burning process. The idea, the design, the wood stuff, transfer and burn stain and if you want to do number six make that money honey we are in a crucial time right now so honestly anything that i can do to make a little extra cash this is what i'm gonna do so if you want to start wood burning totally cool do it start with the easy stuff don't start shading until you are completely prepared i'm gonna go stain this post it on my website if you dang it post it on my facebook page because i don't have a website yet i will see you guys next week potentially with something else i think it's gonna be a lot of fun i really hope that you guys stick around to watch the video for next week because i can't wait please like this video please comment down below if you guys have any designs that you want me to do on a clock or on a regular piece of wood or on a coaster i have a lot of coasters if you guys follow me on instagram you saw that i got a big order of coasters finally in and also please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next week with something else peace whoa did my head just fall off? Holy crap.